So what's your latest uh, entrepreneurial adventure? Um, well, besides access fixtures in the Ivy course of building, it would be Armory Business Center. Tell me a little bit about that. I was sitting on a beach in St. Martin, and there was um, about five couples, including my wife and myself, and um, the guys there who all knew each other said to me, Steve, what do you do? And I said, oh, I run Access Fixtures and Applied Interactive, and I am a professor at Clark University where I teach it about innovations and entrepreneurship. And they looked at me kind of funny, and I'm like, what? And they said, why would you want to do that? And they said, what do you mean? I said, well, I had a business, but I turned it over to the managers, and leased most of the space in the building out to other businesses, and I haven't seen it for five years. And he's sitting on a beach for weeks. And then another guy said, you know, I had a major contracting company, and I built myself a couple of medical buildings. And then I got rid of the contracting business, and I haven't seen those medical buildings for years. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I get it. And I realized I had done well with real estate as well. I love business, I'm not giving that up. But pursuing real estate development has been fun. I've been involved in design for most of my life. I've done a number of residential and commercial projects. And it was sort of a natural to step back and do another one after I'd done the Ivy course at building. So the armory, what's sort of the vision there compared to what the Ivy course is? The Armory Business Center, in, so let me start here. The, the Ivy Corset building is really offices and, you know, sort of technology professionals, sales professionals, um, every type of professional, but you can't manufacture in here. You can't, it's not effective for a VARS or research and development. The Omni Business Center came out of the idea of um, taking calls for renting other commercial space that I have. And I always get the same questions in different orders. Every tenant who's looking for space calls up and knows what they need, and they stay on the phone until you answer no. So the first question is, depending on who it is, does it have cement floors? Does it have a loading dock? Can I drive in the building? Are the ceilings over 18 feet? Is it heated? Does it have three-phase power? Does it have air conditioning? Um, can I get you know, 18 wheelers in there? Um, is it handicapped accessible? Can it, you know, does it have a bathroom, two bathrooms? And um, does it have drains in the floor? And can I put a clean room in? Along the way, with most older buildings, you have to say no. Sure. By building a purpose-built facility where I could say yes to almost every question they can answer, then I get to choose the clients, the tenants. It's not a matter of the tenant saying no to me. 